Hi guys, how's it going? So, today's video is gonna be on my unit at the house that I rent. It's an old Linux from 91. You can tell there in the serial number and it also says it here. It's a HS20, 461 is a three and a half ton. Uh, looks like it had a turbo capacitor put on it la uh, a couple summers ago. But we're here to demonstrate a tool that Ant Probe was nice enough to send me. It's a mega ohm meter. It's a Ant Probe AMB-45. Now it also does voltage and you know regular and continuity. Comes with those clamps and these. Now this ant, this this mega particular mega is pretty pretty big. It's pretty good sized. The reason for this video is because I had a couple videos on YouTube where I condemned a compressor that was grounded, but my field piece or fluke regular multimeter would not actually beep continuity to ground. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking the common wire off the contactor. Now the best way to check this is at the compressor itself. But for video purposes, and since this is my unit on my house, we're just gonna do it here. Now, a lot of times uh, your regular meter will not pick up continuity to ground. That's why that's where a mega ohm meter comes in handy. Because I had, there's one particular video that I can think of on my channel. It was a uh, Rima Rude cubed unit. And every time the condenser would come on, it would trip the breaker. And now at that particular time, I did not have a mega, a mega ohm meter. So what I did is I took the plug off the compressor and refired and reset the breaker and it was fine. Compressor was grounded, but my regular multimeter would not pick it up. Now a lot of guys like the uh, Subco, I think it's the M500. I used to have it. Problem with that one is it's nothing but lights with numbers. You don't actually get a reading. So if it's bad, it shows up 20 ohms with a red light. But you know, 20 ohms can, your compressor can still run because I've had those ohm out bad, mega ohm out bad with the subco and, and run fine for, and some still running. With this one, you get an actual reading. All right, so with some of these other meggers, you, you have to hold the, the test button. Well, with this one, you don't. Like I said, I got one hook to common, and I got a good ground here. I didn't do it here because this is painted. I wouldn't get a good connection here. So we're set on 500, and we are going to hit the test button. Okay, that compressor's coming back at 1138. There, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that compressor. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's a great reading. Um, so if you were to have a, uh, the Subco M500, that would, yeah, anything over a thousand, the lights wouldn't even light up. Like they'd light up for a split second and then go off the chart. But I like this here, you, you, you actually get a digital reading. So, that compressor is coming out at 1138 mega ohms, which is, that compressor is in great shape. I mean, the windings are fine. So, uh, but like I said, guys, you don't have to get the Ant Probe. I like this one. It is big. That is one downside to it. I know the video, I mean, it's it's pretty good size. It's I mean, it's even got like this little kickstand on it, which which is nice, you know. It, the, the leads are very long, so you can kick it up and let it, you know, let it relax. And then I like where you can hit that test button instead of having to hold the test button like some of the other ones. Again, we'll do it again. It's coming back at 1265 now, you know, which is, it's, it's probably going to read a little different every time. But, I mean, that's still close. Very close. This compressor is, uh, the windings are fine. 
in the compressor. It, this compressor is not close to ground or gonna short to ground. This is why a Megger is important instead of your traditional. I mean, I mean, you know, a lot of times you can pick up ground on your regular multimeter, but sometimes you can't. And again, it reads voltage, cot and it does continuity, and then it does your different levels of mega ohms. This is a great meter right here. I'm really looking forward to putting this thing to work this summer. All right, guys. I tell you what, man, for a 1991, this unit is pretty dang quiet. But again, guys, you know, this thing reads voltage as well. So if we, uh, At 240 volts to the bottom of the contactor. Then you go to the top of the contactor. You got 240 there. So, you know, it's it's more than a mega. I mean, you know, you can't check capacitors and stuff with it. You know, you don't know amp, can't check amps, but can use it for voltage too if you know if you got it out all right guys well there's uh just a quick video of uh the amp probe amb-45 hopefully this uh helps somebody out or inspires you to get you a, a mega ohm meter uh, i'm not saying the subco m500 is not good it'll get it'll do the job for you but if you want a true reading be able to read under 20 ohms instead of just a red light that lights up bad and on 20 i suggest you get you something like either get this one or something similar to it all right guys thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one